Samsung's Agenta KI could boost your Galaxy S25 and S24's battery with the upcoming One UI 8 update. This tech first appeared on the S25 Edge and promises up to 10% better battery life, all without sacrificing performance. Battery life matters to everyone, and Samsung's clever use of AI might be the fix we've been waiting for. If One UI 8 brings this feature to the full S25 lineup, it could make these phones even more appealing by balancing power with endurance. Picture your Galaxy S25 or S24 learning your daily habits to save battery. That's exactly what battery AI optimization does using Samsung's new Agentic AI system. Samsung's Blake Geyser, a leader in their mobile division, said the efficiency from this AI was so effective, they didn't need to upgrade to new battery tech like silicon carbon cells. Samsung constantly explores cutting-edge technologies, but with the new chip and Agentic AI improving performance and power usage, we felt our lithium-ion battery was still the best choice for this phone. The Agentic AI feature really shines on the Galaxy S25 Edge, which only has a 3,900 mAh battery, smaller than the S25's 4,000 mAh. The S25 Plus is 4,900 mAh, and the S25 Ultra's 5,000 mAh. Yet early tests suggest it still lasts nearly a full day. The AI likely works with the Snapdragon 8 Elite Chip's NPU, learning your usage patterns, pausing background apps, or adjusting the processor for smarter battery savings. One UI 8 is expected to deliver this AI-powered battery boost. Samsung is planning to bring agentic AI battery optimization to the S25 and possibly even the S24 lineup through the One UI 8 update. Based on Android 16, this new software includes smoother animations, smarter AI tools, and tighter security. While Samsung hasn't confirmed anything officially, this move aligns with their goal of expanding Galaxy AI across more devices. And with One UI 8, this feature could get even better, bringing a real-world battery boost to the S25, S25 Plus, and S25 Ultra. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. There's a powerful new security feature in Android 16 that we'll hopefully see in Samsung's One UI 8 update too. From shady apps to weak connections, your phone faces all kinds of threats. Luckily, Android has built-in security tools to help protect your device and data. And with Android 16, Google is taking that protection to the next level with Advanced Protection Mode. Android 16 is now rolling out to supported devices, and along with it comes Advanced Protection Mode. While beta users might have already seen it, it's now available on the stable version too. To check it, go to Android 16 settings greater than security and privacy. You'll see a card saying Advanced Protection is available for your device. It's designed to block online threats, harmful apps, unsafe connections, and other risks. If you don't see the card, scroll down to Advanced Protection under Other Settings. On that page, you'll find a Device Protection toggle. There's also a link to enable a full Advanced Protection program in your Google account. Here's what you get with Android 16 QPR1 on Pixel phones. Device theft protects your phone if it's lost, stolen, or seized. Inactivity reboot restarts your phone if it stays locked for three days. Apps shield you from unsafe apps and memory bugs. Google Play Protect scans apps for malware and other threats. Unknown apps blocks apps from outside sources. Memory tidying stops memory-based attacks in certain apps. Networks avoids weak or unsafe connections. 2G blocking on some devices prevents use of old, insecure networks. Web protection keeps you away from dangerous websites. Safe browsing blocks harmful pages automatically. Chrome Alerts warns about sites that aren't at HTTPS. JavaScript Restrictions disables risky features on some sites. Phone app helps spot scam calls. Caller ID in spam alerts shows who's calling and flags spam. Auto call screen blocks sketchy calls before they reach you. If the option isn't showing up yet, try restarting your phone running Android 16. Even more features are coming later this year, though availability will depend on the phone brand. These include intrusion tracking, USB protection, blocking auto-connect to unsafe networks, and scam call detection in the phone app. Do you want this feature in One UI 8? What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section.